Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Sandra with The Little Back House, located in San Dimas, California. I have a little store where I upcycle furniture and home decor, and I sell them for a profit, as well as my website, thelittlebackhouse.com. So today, I am going to use the color Dry Time. I am a Wise Owl paint distributor. And again, I carry that in the store and on the website. If you have not tried Wise Owl paint, it is a phenomenal paint line. It is a chalk finish. It's a clay mineral base, so it has wonderful high pigmentation. So you get excellent coverage even on your first coat. It also is self-leveling, so that makes for a really nice, smooth finish without many brush strokes, especially when you use it with a clean on brush. So most of the time you will see me out here in the back spraying my paint only because I do a lot of custom orders as well as I need pieces for the showroom floor. So in order to get things done quickly, I spray them with my Wagner sprayer. But today I have a little bit of extra time is closed it's a beautiful cool afternoon focus so this is where um, I normally paint this is in the back of my store I have made a little makeshift painting studio out of an easy up and some tarps and we're working on this piece for the store it's a dresser we painted it black it's going to go with another piece that I had painted um, previously, which I'll, I'll, I can put a picture in there so you can see it. So I did kind of a his and a hers, and this is the his. The hers has a floral transfer. But yeah, so this is where I paint in the back of the store. And then this is the one that I'm working on right now. And this is the one I chose to do by hand because it's just one of those days. That's the table a customer dropped off that I'll be painting next. And this is another custom piece that I did for a customer. A little book, bookcase. So this one will get picked up today. It's painted in Siren Song by Wise Owl Paint. And then those are the chairs that go with the table. So I have my work cut out and I love it. So I love painting pieces for my store and doing some custom pieces. So I will get back on this show you guys my next steps. I'm going to do a redesign by Prima transfer on this and a stencil on the side. I did paint this one by hand. Let me just show it to you. So it's got two coats of dried thyme and I am going to sand it next and prep it for a transfer. Okay, so we're gonna take our 220 grit sandpaper and our handy little electric DeWalt sander and give it a little sanding. So this is a transfer we're going to put on. It is Royal Bouquet by Redesigned by Prima. And, and if you have never used these transfers before, they come with a handy little stick. And this one will come in three sections, which makes it easy for you to line up. It has a grid on the back, which makes for easy um, straight placement. So I am going to take the first one and you do not want to separate the white part from the clear part because they are extremely sticky. Once it sticks to something, you cannot change your mind and pick it up and move it someplace else. So you want to keep it on while you're um, looking at your design and figuring out your placement. You do not want to be 
uh, you cannot stick it on and then move it and change your mind. So keep the white backing on until you are sure that is where you want it. And I usually will keep some um, tape, some of the blue tape, so I can stick it down while I'm... I tend to be a guesstimator and not a measurer, so if you like perfect measurements, um, I'm not the one for you. <laughs> I'm an eyeballer. <laughs> So I'm going to try and make sure this top sentence is on the piece but below the knobs. So let's check it out right there. I did bring a tape measure just to kind of measure if you wanted to be specific but I kind of will. All right, pinch to the right, pinch to the left and I'm good. This is going to fall into the crease, so you could choose to put it in there or you could just omit it. This will get in onto the drawer, onto the drawer, and onto the drawer. So you can make this go here and then start your next piece at the very top. It is all art, so however you want to do it, there is no right or wrong whatever you like. So I will stick them both down until I'm sure that's where I want them and then I'll remove the white piece and then proceed. I'm going to go ahead and remove it and we'll stick with our lines. And then you want to take your little stick and you are going to rub. I kind of just give it a once over to make sure it's stuck down pretty good. And then you can start to lift. And you just keep pushing it down if any of it comes back up on your clear sheet with you until you have the whole thing pushed down completely. And I'll push it a little closer so you can see. So you can kind of see when it turns lighter, it's coming off. So I will keep doing this and let you know, show it to you when I'm all done. Okay. 
Okay, so she is looking real pretty. I love this color combination. I will come in tomorrow. That's my daughter, Cassandra. <laughs> um, I will come in tomorrow and do a white wax and add on the handles. And okay, so I am back. It is the next day <laughs> and I am gonna finish up this dresser. We have painted it two coats of dry thyme. We have put a transfer on it. We have sanded it. I am going to seal it with my palm brush by Wise Owl Paint along with my furniture salve. And if you have never tried our salves, they are amazing. Furniture salves seal raw wood. They are like a drink of water for your raw wood. For your painted pieces, they will seal your paint. If you are doing something that's food grade, like butcher block or charcuterie boards, we do have one that is unscented. Um, they are basically a wax mixed with a hemp oil, so they are really, really creamy to spread. You don't have to use a lot of arm muscle. They just glide right on. They are good for those two, so painted wood, raw wood, as well as leather. So if you want to refresh a leather chair, leather boots, a handbag, belt anything like that pick up your sap and use it for that it's amazing um, you can also use it for metal so if you want to refresh metal knobs uh, refresh um, anything that you have that's metal it's good for metal also so if you have not picked up a sap they are also scented so let me just tell you sometimes you pick up those pieces and they're so old and they've been sitting around for a while and they get that musty smell in them this is going to take it out they're like essential oils for your furniture there's a lot of different scents i wish i had a smell of camera because you guys would love the scent of this one this is the new um, bergamot lime it's amazing so anyway we have them available in the store again on the website thelittlebackhouse.com so let's get this piece waxed and then I am gonna go in with my white wax. I carry white wax from the Real Milk Paint Company and I have a separate brush for my white wax and I do try to keep my brushes separate. I have one for clear, one for white wax, one for black wax. And then we are going to go in with their white wax and we are going to wax over the dry time and give it a little bit of white wax details. And then I am going to add some gold knobs maybe some gold metallic um, wax in just certain spots and this baby will be ready for the showroom floor. Thanks for watching again you guys. Please feel free if you like this kind of content to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share with a friend because it really does help our channel grow. Thank you and let's get started. Okay. So I just basically dabbed a little on my brush. And I do like to put a clear before I put my white, just because it gives me a little bit of control. Uh, you have the ability to reapply um, clear after you've applied white, if perhaps you get it in a spot you did not want it. But if you apply white, Sorry, this camera is just like cutting my head off. <laughs> um, so if you were to apply white just straight up on the raw paint, it's going to soak it right up and it's very difficult to get it off if you got it in a spot you didn't want. But if you apply it over clear, then you can apply your white if you get it in a spot you don't want, you just take a little more clear and you can erase it right off. But, so once again, if you apply it over raw paint, the paint's going to soak it up and you're not going to be able to maneuver it or move it around or anything if you change your mind. <laughs> so I always like to apply clear first and then I go in with my white wax. And I have options, I like options. And you can see too how when you put on your wax, your color, your paint color gets darker. 
it will lighten up again once your paint is, once your wax is absorbed. So we are just going to put this all over our piece and get it done. It smells so good, this bergamot lime. All the, this is a new scent by Wise Owl. It's amazing. So just to tell you a little bit while I'm waxing about my store, I also do a live sale and I'm going to try and do some more lives on Instagram and Facebook. I do a lot of Facebook stories. So if you want some behind the scenes on what's going on in my store, feel free to follow me on Instagram as well as Facebook. But I will try and do some more lives um, on there. And then I do a live sale the first Wednesday of every month on Instagram at 6.30. So if you're interested in that, mark your calendar, set your uh, reminder on your phone, because that's the first Wednesday of every month, which this month it'll fall on September 1st at 6.30 on Instagram. So pretty. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. I try to answer any questions. I haven't got, gotten as adventurous in shipping furniture. So if you're not local, sorry. I have local pickup only. Uh, I will eventually try and get to that. Selling. I'm staging, doing YouTube, doing Instagram, <laughs> pricing, getting it on the website. So you wear a lot of hats when you're too thin and make promises I can't keep. So eventually, hopefully, with everyone's support, I will be able to hire someone and then we could maybe start shipping furniture. For right now, I'm just shipping smalls. So you can shop off the website and I can ship those. I am out. So I'm gonna run in and go get another one and get this finished. Be right back. Okay, so I started putting my soft wax, white wax by the Real Milk Paint Company on. And I am gonna show you on this last drawer. Um, I just apply it everywhere. And what I was saying earlier, because we have, oops, I got a little bit much on there. Um, it's so hot out here, it's just melting. But what I was saying earlier is, you have the ability to wipe some of it off because we have previously put clear. If you don't put clear prior to applying the white wax or black wax, um, the paint soaks it up, so you can't really wipe it off or spread it where you might want it. I want a little bit in the middle, but I really want to emphasize it around the creases and the low points. And these drawers don't have much detail, so I figured it would add just a little bit of extra dimension. And I just take a t-shirt or cloth and wipe it off. It's as simple as that. Okay. 
here it is all white waxed. So I will get the knobs on. I'm going to do gold knobs and I will get it staged and put on the showroom floor. Okay, one more day and let's finish this project up. I had told you in the beginning I was going to put a redesign by Prima transfer on the front, which I did. Now we are going to take one of the redesigned by Prima stencils and we are going to stencil the side of the drawer. This drawer needed a, just a really slight um, repair, which it's all dry, so we can get rid of that. Um, and we're gonna do a stencil on both sides just to kind of dress up the piece. And I am using my large one and a half inch um, stencil brush by Redesign by Prima also. So let's get this party started. Let's see, my first time even using these, so we'll do it together if I can open it. <laughs> there we go. So I'm working inside the store today so I can give you guys a little look at my DIY supplies. So like I said, you can shop in the store or on the website. And that little beep that you keep hearing is my daughter's Dexcom. So if you hear me ask her what is her sugar? or looking at my phone. It's because she's a type one diabetic and we're doing the Zoom school at home. So I need to monitor that. <clears throat> so we need to be store, store owner, artist, and mom all at the same time. And we're doing, a, we're doing it well, so. Okay, so we're gonna put our, I'm, I chose this one because it's kind of a cottage core. Whoops, I guess I should have turned the phone off. This is real life, you guys. Real life in the day of the store. So let me shut this off. That's my hubby. I'll have to call him back. And I put a little bit of paint on my lid. And I always keep um, a paper towel. So the key to um, stenciling is very little paint. So you want to put some paint on and then you want to kind of dab it off. I just want to make sure on the first go around my, all of my bristles are wet. So I'm gonna scooch this a little forward so I can put my blotter. And we are just going to go as far as this drawer will let us. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go in a little because the drawer ends. Well, we'll try it this way. There's so many fun patterns out there and decoupage paper and decoupage tissue and stencils and what else do we have? It's just like, it's so hard to just pick. So I like to use the swirl method where I just swirl it on. I find that I get less bleed through. And don't move it. <laughs> it's a big one, so. See how I do. Looks like I might have shifted just a little bit but we're gonna go with it. Okay, I think I shifted too much. And I'm making a hot mess, so we're gonna wipe it off and we're gonna try it again. Let me go get some, some wipes. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. 
The nice thing about chalk paint, it doesn't cure right away. You have some wait time. So I'm just gonna wipe that off. And I'm gonna wipe it right off my drawer. Hello. Hello. This is my daughter, Cassandra. She will make a guest appearance every now and then between her classes. <laughs> okay, so see, that just wipes right off. So don't be afraid to try new things <laughs> because we all start somewhere, right? Yeah, it's okay, I'll get another one. Yeah, we all start somewhere. Practice makes perfect. Okay, what's your sugar, babe? Good job. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, and here are the sides all done. It's like a little jewelry for your piece. Maybe that real special lipstick that you like. I think it really dresses it up. I love how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and share it with a friend if you know someone that likes DIY.